Peace, 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 love and light, my star family. Um, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I will speak on um, the significance of the rainbow, um, uh, what the colors of the rainbow, um, you know, represent uh, just just a couple colors so far. Um, like I won't reveal too much, but um, just for right now, the first two colors, what they represent, um, and basically, uh, yeah. So the rainbow represents light energy or light codes that are constantly being or intelligence being beamed into the atmosphere through the um through the solar projector through the sun and uh and basically we're able to pick it up as far as like as rain or or basically water and when sun basically or any light source interacts with that liquid or that water then you're able to pick up on rainbows more or less uh but those rain but as far as the rainbow the rainbow is literally um just energy or a a vibration or or a force in itself that is that's constantly being beamed down here um and with your uh, satellites your satellites actually pick up on this same type of frequency or energy uh because you know these humans cannot naturally pick it up themselves or be natural receivers um to to an extent they they can't pick up on that type of energy more or less um because you know they they always have these theories as to why as to what a rainbow is or if not any theory they don't they don't really know i mean they'll just basically make shit up about it they'll make things up about it but um as far as the colors um in particular um i know purple um i know red and um i, I know orange uh i know red red blue red blue and gold or yellow represent the celestial colors um however the colors that are what you consider uh red green and black those are what you call earthbound colors so so you have your earthbound colors and you have your celestial you know your your cosmo colors celestial colors you know your your blues your reds your yellows your golds um your purples you know uh those are what you call the colors of the celestial celestial beings or just just in general like those those aren't earth earthbound colors because um for one you won't find green a i mean green isn't a natural color that's found in the universe or in outer space um so don't don't get tricked into that a lot of the green green is naturally found here on this planet you know from the trees everything that's, that's natural to the earth but outside the earth celestial colors are yellow um orange red blue purple um we can see those colors here but um as far as with with the actual rainbow the the rainbow in itself um what it does well you know there's there's there has been many as as time has progressed um throughout the years many different religious or different people or types of people have, have had their own beliefs and thoughts more or less um it it kind of dealing with a higher source more or less um or having to do with with a higher um i guess higher i guess a higher source in many ways because i mean many different um interpretations for it but more or less it, it, it pointed to something higher than what we could really ultra stand and understand at that time but we know today as light energy or light cold because when you're able to split up um say when you get a light and you have a prism you know like 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 on for example the um, pink floyd's album where the light and you know the whole spectrum is you know um splitting up the colors red green and black i mean red red green and, and blue and those are the primary colors that are are used in televisions you know rgb red green and blue those are the primary colors and how the, the the camera picks up on color so that we can see it so like i said rainbows these particular colors all are significant because it, it, it's how tv color tv came into came into reality because of those particular colors that they were testing and you know bouncing light off of and those are the primary colors that are picking picking up off 
off the prism that, that's being divided. The primary colors are red, green, and, um, well, for TV-wise, but it's as far as, like, I mean, in, in, in the same aspect, that's kind of how, like, the the rainbow is in sort of us, because for us to be able to pick it up, you have to have some kind of light source being casted forward through whether it's a lens or some type of, like, uh, I guess, solid to, like, liquid type of uh, material that can pass light through easily more or less um so uh as far as with blue in the blue being in the rainbow just for one of the few colors i'll go over uh but blue is like the fastest color in the light spectrum you know we we see blue all all in the sky we see blue in the rainbow but blue is like the fastest color in the fastest color in the light spectrum um I can give you an example as to why, um, I guess blue, for example, if, if you look at the, um, as far as flames go, or just, just in heat in general, blue, blue is always like the, the most hottest flame. So it being that hot will, will, will kind of require more energy, meaning it's moving a lot faster than say like the yellow or orange flame or just in, in general, like scientists, and the, they have done tests with blue laser beams and blue laser beams shoot faster than red laser beams. So, like I said, red red is a color that's, I mean, it, it, it's a part of the celestial colors, but it's not as fast as a blue or a gold color, but blue is, is the fastest color in the um, light spectrum, even on as far as like how we, we pick up color on our devices and, and also in the rainbow, blue is the fastest. Uh, they, they have, I mean, you can look it up, but the fastest laser, um, laser or yeah, the fastest camera picked up the how fast these lasers can basically emit light, and these lights are faster than, than the speed of light. So, these frequencies are, are pretty like are pretty real in, in, in like an aspect in so many words, but you know, with. You know the rainbow over the years it has gotten a negative connotation for you know being a part of like you know the um you know you know where i'm going with this but the whole uh you know the rgb whatever whatever it, they're called that 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 particular group i don't know their name because I, i'm not really focused on them but more or less like it's gotten a negative connotation you know you're looked at as as a weird person for wearing rainbow colors or, or colors with vibrant colors on there i mean like I said, it's just people's people's perspective more or less, but and also lack of understanding of what it actually means or lack lack of logic and rationale to it. But I'm going to end it right here. But um, peace, love, and light. I'm out.